No. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'd like to call to order the uh, Anna Planning Commission meeting for March 15, 2021. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Can you roll call, please, Mrs. Ward Smith? Roger Brock. Here. Dean Button. Here. Alex Dietlo. Ann Herbert. William Hutton. Here. Here. Thomas Casimir, Zach. Dan Spitali. Here. Six present, we have a quorum. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Moore Smith. Um, you should have before you the meeting minutes of January 19th, 2021. I hope you've all had an opportunity to uh, review those meeting minutes. Is there a motion to approve? So moved, Ann Herbert. Bill Hutton, second. Thank you, Commissioner Hutton. It's been moved and seconded for the meeting minutes of January 19th. Uh, uh, is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call for the minutes, please, Mrs. Moore Smith. Roger Brock. Yes. Dean Button. Yes. Alex Dilo. Ann Herbert. Yes. William Hutton. Yes. Thomas Kazmierzak. Ann Spitali. Yes. Sharon Zaney. Yes. I'm sorry, hang on just a moment. Cause I I didn't hear Ann respond earlier when I did the roll call. So the number is off that I called earlier. It should be six zero because there's six present. Yeah, well that that's off. Is Alex here? Alex isn't here, right? No. Okay, yeah, that, that's off. I didn't hear him answer and I didn't hear Ann, Ann answer. Did you, did you uh, roll call Ann, Ann? Yes. Five, six. So, okay, six. There, I'm sorry, there is six present. Yep. Kazmier Zach is not present either, right? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is there any old business? No, no old business. New business. New business before this commission uh, is CP21-03, petition of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission for a three lot subdivision, Lost Marsh Estate, second edition, located at 2642 New York Avenue, which is zoned R1, single family residential district, located within the city of Hammond. Has the notification requirements been met? This is Morris Smith. Yes, they have. Thank you. Uh, I understand that uh, uh, our uh, director of city planning will be acting both as the petitioner and as the staff. And is there any objection from this, these uh, commissioners uh, to that uh, appointment by uh, Mr. Poland? No objection, please proceed, Mr. Poland. Okay, um, the uh, property in question for subdivision is owned by the redevelopment commission. It is located at the northwest corner of New York Avenue and 127th Street. Um, it was property that was associated with the Aponte family. The uh, Redevelopment Commission acquired the property and is seeking to divide, redivide the property into three lots. Um, these three lots will be a continuation of the uh, first Lost Marsh Estates edition, which is immediately to the north um, on New York Avenue and then on the uh, new uh, Deedlow Parkway. The New York Avenue properties to the north are um, paired homes on individual lots. The uh, proposed subdivision um, um, is three lots uh, and um, under the current R1 zoning would only be allowed to have single family, but uh, a second companion petition for this is to rezone the property to R2. Um, so the lots themselves um, 
meet all of the uh, lot size requirements for both R1 and R2. Uh, so that would end the presentation of the petitioner. Thank you. Any, uh, any questions for Mr. Paul and his petitioner? Any questions? Uh, we open it up for public hearing, right, Brian? Yes. Uh, anyone, uh, we're going to now have a public hearing on this petition for uh, Las Mars Marsh Estates uh, subdivision plat, if I said that correctly, I hope. Yep. And does uh, uh, open the public hearing. Is there any uh, members from the public wishing to speak in favor of this petition? Any members of the public wishing to speak in opposition of this petition? Any members of the public wishing to comment on this petition? Being none, uh, any uh, further comments by the petitioner? Uh, no, no comments um, from the petitioner. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, any comments from the commission? Thank you. Um, then, uh, Mr. Poland, would you please present uh, on behalf of uh, the staff? Okay, uh, so uh, this is um, for the um, approval of the subdivision plat for the Lost Marsh Estates second edition. As was presented, this is a three lot um, subdivision plat um, meeting all of the technical requirements. Um, the plat was sent out to rev the review agencies um, and no objections were stated. Um, one of the things that I, I neglected to point out in the presentation is that there was a peculiarity when it came to something in the title policy that was uh, regarding the subdivision plat immediately to the south uh, that was platted by a person by the name of, of Wilcox. And um, in one of those uh, bizarre little things that are in the title policy, there was a reservation of a three foot strip um, that would not, that went, that was associated with 127th Street and one of the other streets in, in the uh, Southern Region Platte that reserved the right of that um, property or reserved the, the owner's right of that property that would hold off the dedication of the street as right away. Um, which would, if only if the properties on the other side, it would be subdivided. So with this three foot kind of, we want to call it a spite strip, um, our attorney went through a title, um, excuse me, a quiet title action to um, get that three foot strip um, in the favor of the redevelopment commission. The portion of the three foot strip that abuts these lots um, is actually going to be incorporated into one of the lots. Um, the, the street, the 127th Street will be, um, uh, in essence, I, if I remember correctly, it's only 30 feet wide. So, but it's still in discussions with the city engineer, we were accepting that. Um, so with all that being said, um, staff does recommend at the plan commission grant both preliminary and final approval of the subdivision plat subject to the approval of the rezoning to R2, which is the second petition before us tonight. Um, and if the plan commission agrees and the staff requests that the plan commission adopt this report as a findings of fact. Thank you, Mr. Pollan. Any questions uh, to Mr. Pollan from the commission? I do, Mr. Ryan. President. I'm sorry. Mr. Uh, commissioner Hutton. Thank you. Is 127th Street going to continue on the west side of New York Avenue over to the alley? It does currently, and it will can also continue to. Thank you. Yeah, it's essential for the operation of city services. Just wanted to be sure. Good. I appreciate it. Any other questions for Mr. Poland? Is there any square footage that needed to be on those uh, properties that went from R1 to R2? Yeah, the, this, the, um, Minimum square footages are set in the zoning ordinance and um, these lots are, um, you know, large enough to meet the R1 requirements of 60, well, they're slightly less than 60 feet of frontage, mm -hmm. uh, but um, they meet, in essence, meet the R1 requirements and, and that being said, they are they automatic, I know they automatically meet the R2 requirements. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councilman Spitelli. Any more questions for, uh... Uh, Mr. Poland. Being none, uh, 
I guess uh, we're at a point where uh, we would, uh, chair would entertain a motion uh, that the plan commission grant preliminary and final approval of the subdivision plat subject to the approval of the rezoning to R2 of this subdivision. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Councilman Spitali. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. Sure. Amy, thank you. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to uh, grant preliminary and final uh, subdivision plat approval uh, subject to the uh, rezoning to R2. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Uh, may I have a roll call? Mrs. Morse Smith? Roger Brock? Yes. Ann Herbert? Yes. William Hutton? Yes. Dan Spitali? Yes. Sharon Zaney? Yes. Dean Button? Yes. Motion carries six zero. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <It's> okay. <laughs> Uh, and then the chair would also uh, request that uh, a motion be made that this commission adopt the staff report as a finding of fact. So moved. Thank you. Ann Herbert. Thank you. Is there a second? second. Uh, thank you, Mr. Brock. I got a second. Roger Brock, yes. Thank you, Mr. Brock. Uh, it's been moved by Commissioner Herbert and seconded by Commissioner Brock uh, that this uh, report uh, be made a finding of fact. Uh, may I have a roll call or any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call on the motion. Roger Brock? Yes. Ann Herbert? Yes. William Hutton? Yes. Dan Spitali? Yes. Sharon Zaney? Yes. Dean Button? Thank you. Yes. Six ayes, zero nays, zero abstentions. Motion passed. Thank you, Mrs. Moore Smith. Uh, on to the next item on the agenda is CP21 04. Petition of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission to reclassify property at the 2642 New York Avenue from R1 single family residential district to R2 one and two family residential district to construct, operate, and develop new residential housing within the city of Hammond. Mrs. Morris Smith, have the notification requirements been met? Yes, they have. Thank you. Uh, is there any objection by the commission to have Mr. Pollan uh, speak on behalf of the petitioner and as of staff? Any objection? Any objection? No objection. Mr. Pollan, would you make a presentation, please? I uh, hope, oh, yes. Okay. On behalf of the Redevelopment Commission, the owner of this property, um, the uh, property is uh, currently zoned R1 for a single family residential district. Um, the, the, that's pretty much how the property was used. Um, the uh, Redevelopment Commission is now the owner of the property and their intention is to um, construct new houses as was stated previously on the three lots. Um, the discussion has been that um, the uh, frontage property on New York Avenue to the north. It was has been was also zoned R two, and that um, the, the the request was to record uh, excuse me rezone uh, this property as R two to be consistent. Um, one of the advantages of the R two it also does allow single families. Uh, development within that zoning district. So whether or not the property is going to be developed as one paired home and one single family home or three single family homes, we have that flexibility um, with the R2 zoning. Um, as far as, well, actually, no, that, that, I'll leave that as the, the presentation. Thank you. Any questions for uh, the petitioner? by the commission. Any questions? Any questions? No questions. I would uh, uh, open up the floor for a public meeting, public hearing for the petition to rezone the subject subdivision from R1 single family residential to R2 one and two family residential district. Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor of this uh, action? Anyone from the public wishing to speak against this action? Anyone from the public wishing to speak and comment upon this action being none, the public hearing is now closed. Any questions, uh, any comments from the petitioner? Any questions from the commission? 
Uh, I would ask Mr. Poland to uh, give the staff report. Okay. Um, as previously stated by the petitioner, um, the request is to zone this property from um, R1 to R2. Um, also, as previously stated, this is uh, consistent with the zoning to the immediate north. Um, what, what, th this is really an interesting opportunity for um, the Redevelopment Commission and the development of uh, new housing um, that would take advantage of being um, adjacent to the uh, golf course. And um, you know to develop something um, consistent with what's on New York Avenue, um, to to work with the six single-family um, homes that are on Dillard Parkway, I just think it's an excellent housing opportunity um, for the city of Hammond. Um, you know, this is taking a property that was previously used as a single-family home and um, re envisioning it into something that would be uh, um, work well with the uh, with the uh, community up that of that part of, of Robertsdale. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if if they um, are going to do a a paired home, um, we would expect it would be a, require a uh, a side yard variance that um, was what occurred um, when we did the other paired homes. Um, the idea is that property line would actually be on the common party wall of the two units of the paired home. And um, so we would expect that should that particular format of a, t a paired home uh, be ultimately what uh, would be developed. Um, the, uh, I don't know, I mean, um, are, are, there any, are there any questions before I go into the actual recommendation? Any question for Mr. Poland? Do, Mr. President. Mr. Poland, was this parcel of property part of the original concept, or is this something that has since come later? If I recall correctly, this is something that came later. I think um, the property owner had, he has purchased one of the paired homes, and that gave him an opportunity to do something differently with his property. I believe that's the circumstance, unless Dave, you know otherwise. Thank you very much, Mr. Poland. Okay, um, so um, just uh, any, what, any other questions for Mr. Poland? Any other questions? I might just ask um, the ordinance. Uh, a sponsor hasn't been identified. Is that typical at this stage, Mr. Poland? Well, actually, I was going to address that. Okay, but... <laughs> go ahead. Then. So. Um, the recommendation is, from the staff is that the uh, staff recommends that the plan commission forward the petition to the city council with a favorable recommendation. And if the plan commission agrees with that recommendation, the staff requests that this report is adopted at, by the plan commission as preliminary findings of fact. If, if, we, if you'd go through the rest of that and then we'll address the sponsor. Oh, I thought this. Yeah, no, I, I was going to do it. I, I want to get the recommendation done first. Okay. Um, so the chair would entertain a motion that the plan commission forward uh, the petition to the city council with a favorable recommendation. Is there such a motion? Second. Thank you, uh, Councilman Spitali. Is there? Oh, I'm sorry. You get the first, Councilman Spitali. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Thanks. Uh, motion made by Councilman Spitali. Is there a second? I'll second, Roger Brock. Thank you, Commissioner Brock. Yeah, uh, uh, motion been made by uh, Councilman Spitali, second by Commissioner Brock to forward the petition to the City Council with a favorable recommendation. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Uh, Mrs. Morris Smith, may we have a roll call, please? Roger Brock. Yes. Ann Herbert. Yes. William Hutton. Yes. Dan Spitali. Yes. Sharon Zaney? Yes. Dean Button? Uh, Chairman votes yes. Uh, go ahead. Six ayes, zero nays, zero abstentions. Motion passed. Thank you, Mrs. Morris Smith. The uh, chair would also entertain a motion uh, that uh, the plan commission adopt the staff report as a preliminary finding of that. Is there a motion? So moved. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Herbert. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Thank you, Com uh, Commissioner Zaney. It's been moved by Commissioner Herbert, seconded by Commissioner Zaney. 
uh, to uh, accept this poor, uh, report as a preliminary finding of fact. Uh, is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Uh, roll call, Mrs. Moore Smith, please. Roger Brock. Yes. Ann Herbert. Yes. William Hutton. Yes. Dan Spitali. Yes. Sharon Zaney. Yes. Dean Button. Yes. Six eyes, zero nays, zero abstentions. Motion passed. Thank you, Mrs. Moore Smith. Uh, Mr. Pollan, was there anything more you wanted to add? Yes, uh, Mr. President, if I could ask, is, is our uh, council representative, um, uh, Councilman Spitali, would you be uh, willing to be the sponsor on the rezoning ordinance? I'll do that for you. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, the chair is grateful to our esteemed and venerable councilman to accept that responsibility. Uh, any other new business? None? Okay. Any correspondence? No correspondence. Thank you. Uh, uh, co commissioner comments? No. Uh, staff comments? Um, at this time, I am not expecting anything for the April plan commission meeting. Okay. Uh, understood. Thank you very much. Uh, the, uh, it's now the opportunity for public comment. Anyone from the public wishing to speak? Anyone from the public wishing to speak? Anyone from the public wishing to speak? None. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion. Thank you. Second. Ms. Fidelli. Second. Second by uh, Commissioner Block, uh, Barack. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you very much. We are adjourned. Bye, right, everybody. Be safe. Dean, I think it's all a record right. 22 minutes. <laughs>